and we open on nipples what's going on everyone welcome back to the channel good to see you guys uh we're gonna be trying a new game today we're gonna be trying out tekken 8 unfortunately i guess for this game pal world came out about a week ago and i feel like it stole a lot of this game's thunder pal world absolutely exploded in popularity millions and millions and millions of players i want to make fighting games a more consistent part of this channel because i'm actually a really big fan of fighting games we got games like Street Fighter, we got Multiverses coming out again, like com coming in against full release, and of course, what we're playing today, Tekken 8, which is probably Tekken, my favorite fighting game franchise of all time. Oh my god, it's Raiden. He was just in Fortnite. What is he doing in Tekken? If you don't know Tekken or you haven't kept up to date with Tekken, the old guy is just pretty much slinging it all across the world. We thought he had one son, turns out he's got 20 plus illegitimate children. Aihachi is the most virile old man in existence. We all dream of being him when we're 70 years old. All fighting games are anime. I can't think of a single fighting game that isn't anime. You know, it's pretty interesting. Tekken has been going for eight games plus two tag games. But if you really think about it, Everyone has a zero KD. None of the Mishimas have ever succeeded in killing any of the others. This game is pretty damn smooth, man. But I just do not know Jin. That's the problem here. Heat dash, punch. So there is like a drive rush function, very similar to Street Fighter. I think all fighting games are kind of adopting some universal mechanics right now. And that's one, having a universal rush in function, and then also having a modern or simplified control scheme. God, and Jin is always one of those characters that just switches styles. Like every freaking game, this guy doesn't know who he wants to be. Okay, son. I'm playing a bit like Street Fighter, honestly, with the jump-ins. Jumping in, that is not a thing in Tekken. Dad, I just want to give you a hug. God. I had to actually concentrate there for a second, you know? Not take hits. Fucking counterpunch. Actually fight. The devil's blood. Also, Jin's just... If I understand the story correctly with my limited knowledge, we come into Tekken 8 and Jin has pretty much caused a worldwide natural disaster. He summons some sort of demon thing. Jin's kind of a dick. Let's be real here. Jin's just kind of a dick. But is anyone a good person in the Mishima family? That's the real question. I guess besides Lars, right? Fight. Lars is like the goody two-shoes shoujo classic character. Just busting out choke slams, not even trying to. Okay. It's hug time. Are you kidding me? He's like immune to grabs right now. Well, at least I can reliably do that shit. That's the easiest thing in the freaking world, bro. Devil Jin choke slam. There we go. Devil Jin choke slam. Oh my god, they're going through their They're on their Zack Snyder right now. Look at that. Metropolis doesn't stand a chance. The clash of energies. Uh, oh, my weak little energy. Oh, no, dad. My, me and my dad got in a pissing contest, and I just lost. He's just got armor locks and everything, bro. Oh, my God. He's pissed. He's crazy. He's a madman. He's a fucking lunatic. I feel like I'm supposed to lose there. What the fuck? He just bust. He just buffed. Devil Kazuya has so much armor. What the hell was that, bro? This is the third fight in normal mode against the first guy I've encountered. This is just asking a bit much, man. Armor moves and fucking everything, bro. Stun moves? What is this guy? Take the fucking command grab. Die! He's like... Every time he recharges, he gains health, too. You son of a bitch. 
Command grab. Get off my lawn. Oh, dad. Dad! Ah, oh, yes. Woo. Just had to abuse the system, baby. Mother, no. I beat his ass, though. I hate that in video games. <laughs> Here it is. The setup. You've relied on your weapons too much and you're frail. So now it's time for another fighting tournament. For some reason, it, they're fighting tournaments, like simple world fighting tournaments, but the world is always on the line. Like the stakes are tantamount. In Tekken, it's the literal existence of humankind at stake. Dude, who the fuck watched Man of Steel and then made this game? Like, they were destroying the city, like, Metropolis, just like Zack Snyder, and now he's having his Superman in the water moment. Can we get them to link up? Can we get Harada and Snyder to link up and make a film? I mean, how do you even fight against that? He's in the middle of a city, and he just fires lasers into space. I definitely have a power gap in Tekken franchise. The last one I really played a lot was 4. So I completely missed Lars. When it comes to Lars, I don't know shit about his fighting style. Wow, this is much more reasonable. He just sees quicker than me on my power attacks. He's really outspeeding me, so I gotta just jab his ass up. There you go. I don't really know how to play too well, but I'm nothing if not adaptable. I can figure out people's strategies. Oh god, I forgot about that mechanic of Tekken, where you charge and stomp. No! Now I'm in the corner! I'm getting juggled! God. Oh no, this is the worst place to be in Tekken! Oh god! Bitch! Oh! Jesus Christ, bro. He just got me against the shower wall right there, didn't he? Lee, my adopted brother. Or actually, my uncle, technically. Lee is technically Jin's adopted uncle. Japanese families are complicated. Jin was ahead of the curve. He's got a robot waifu. He's got an AI robot waifu already on deck. And she has real emotions. She can actually love him. What a touching story. These hands are too tainted to grasp hope. <laughs> very, very poetic, Jin. Put that into My Chemical Romance song. It would fit right in. Finally, we're in America, land of the free, and home of everything important that ever happened in the history of the world. And apparently, we've ran out of hair gel. Because Paul has lost his lift. Paul is definitely on the low end of the Riz scale right now. Wow, martial law gets kicked out in the qualifiers? Are you kidding me? <laughs> That's so tragic. No, bro. R.I.P. to any martial law fans out there. My god. The waifu battles in this game are contentious. But I think I'm a Lili fan the most. For sure. Does anyone even stand a chance? This guy has fucking space laser powers. He literally has access to the devil himself. Like, what the... F what the hell is the point of all this? When they were fighting to control the world, it made sense. But, like, now he can just destroy the world. Ah, here we go. Another... Mishima. This is like the fifth illegitimate child that's been in introduced at this point. But I mean, if you're a Haihachi fan, she's the one who fights the most similar to Haihachi. So that's probably, we're going to see a lot of this character online. Trust that. Can Jin even win without hacks? That's literally what Lee just said. He's like, Jin, you don't have devil power. You kind of suck at fighting. So like, why even try, bro? Without devil, you trash, boy. Oh god, she can get pretty rough. What is the double on Tron? This is his freaking relative. Ah. Okay, that, that felt good because that was all deliberate right there. Definitely getting my Tekken wings back. That was all deliberate juggling against the wall. Good stuff. The technique that caused your sexual awakening. I read between the lines there. That's not what she said, that's what she meant. Jin, get out of there. All your family members are trying to bang you. This isn't good. 
Oh, no, she didn't miss. No, God. I'm sorry. It's not helped by the fact that, like, the entire strategy of Tekken is to get him against the wall. So right now, I gotta get my aunt up against the wall and just pound her. It's not good. Nice. Nice. Just waited for her to make that play. It was reaction for reaction. Oh no, my devil. I'm getting so edgy. The threat of death is key to the devil power. Ouchie wouchie, really. You're probably older than Jin. Ouchie wouchie. Kicks McGee over here. I actually used to really like Horong. This is a rival battle right here. They've been rivals since child. Oh. Okay. Made a statement right there. It really is trading off a lot of these drive rushes right here. Gotta learn to call them heats, because that's the mechanic of the game. Ah, oh, I don't know why fighting from the right side is so hard for me. I really need to uh, train my brain again. <laughs> Jabbed out, dude. That tiny little jab is so quick. That straight jab off a of Jin, So quick. That's right, bitch. I remember how to juggle. I remember how to juggle. It's in there. It's locked inside that brain, I tell ya. And that's what Tekken's all about, baby. If you can get those juggles and get that timing, it pretty much becomes a rhythm game. That was a good one. That one definitely unlocked my fingers. When you're firing on all cylinders in Tekken, it's one of the best fi feeling fighting games out there. There's such a weird relationship dynamic within this family. I'm pretty sure she is younger than Jin, though she is his aunt. He's teaming up with all his aunts and uncles, pretty much, to take down his dad. Professor Nicholas. Is this guy playable? Is this a character? Is this a fighter? Oh, this is a fighter. You can tell by the straps. This guy just flew in from Kingdom Hearts. Imagine if I was this autistic, where if I met someone for the first time, I just started kicking at them. Fight. That's how you end up in the short bus, son. Oh, shit. No. He doesn't like it when I make fun of him. He's like, I'm your 17th cousin, Jin. <laughs> he just like does the, the most cheerleader power-up. It's got little fireworks and pom-poms on it. I could probably outspeed him at range because he's a slider, you know? Sliding characters that, like, come in, normally you can check them on that shit. Oh, no, the range. He knows. He knows I got him against the wall. He really tried to escape there. He really tried to escape there, actually. This game has gotten so freaking wacky, dude. So we got... Angel power, we got devil power, and now we got Azazel power. We're just unlocking the whole pantheon of demons now. Tekken is a world where you can just, you can summon a literal demon that destroys and cities and kills millions of people, but you are redeemed by linking up with the fam. I know Jin's kind of a dick, but he means well. Do you actually play these? I wonder. I do like C Fox. C Fox has always been one of my favorites. What? There's choice in this fighting game. Gotta go with my main. My old school guy. Even though he's really got the David Bowie face going right now. It's very interesting that you play like the first half of this story mode is Jin. And then you just kind of switch fighters out of nowhere. I guess it's good though. It does teach you new fighters. I suppose the big problem with most fighting games is you can play the story mode, and you're really only going to know one character. And so everyone is going to be playing the same character when they go online. At least, at least this way, you kind of learn a character within the context of the story mode. This is a borrow-friendly stream right here. <laughs> God, it's... your block is crazy, Paul. I'd really love it if you let me hit you. It'd be great. 
It just it make me so happy today. We're having such a fucking war of attrition. This is what footsies looks like, ladies and gentlemen. A bear and a 50-year-old man going counter for counter. Oh, that juke. God, why is Paul so crazy? It's like Paul is the person who's supposed to win this. The game hates that I pick Kuma right now. They really, it really hates that I pick the bear. Oh my god, like what is, what, what other excuse is there for his reaction time right there? My god, bro. Literally, the frame I moved, he comes in with that shit. What are you talking about? Uh, this dude, oh my god, what are you talking about? The CPU, it's literally punishing me for trying to play the bear. I feel it. It's like you don't want to play lame-ass-haired Paul Phoenix retired over the hill. You ain't into that? You want to play the cool bear in the Hihachi outfit? Fuck you. God, get out of here, Paul. Bear mode engaged, baby. Is a sword against the rules? Obviously. But ninjas don't abide by the rules. <laughs> they just straight up fuck your rules. Yoshimitsu's too cool. He, he gets to bring a sword to the Iron Fist tournament. Play Buckshot Roulette? I don't even know what that is. I have no interest in that. I'm playing a game I have actual interest in right now. I'm going to make a balance between what trends and what I actually like. And Tekken fighting games in particular, they only trend for so long. So it's like, I'm going to play Tekken while it's hot. I mean, I'm sure it is good, bro. Like, I don't want to talk down on the game. I haven't even seen it in motion, but I'm one guy, bro. I can only play so many games at once. From everything I've seen, this character is actually really, really good. Just mixed martial arts. That's what they're calling it. Nothing about her style is mixed martial arts, but okay. Tasty's drink in the world is coffee. Coffee versus tea. That's what this fight is. God damn, what the f I can't I'm not even getting started with her. Like come on. She actually countered out of somehow she countered the grab up I tell you, these PCs. Every now and then they just like, hey, what are you doing on your controller? Let me just instantly fucking read that. You can't just increase the difficulty while also making me play new characters. That doesn't make any sense. Like, it's already more difficult because you're playing new characters. That's... I know that's how fighting game campaigns work. Is the computer goes up as you get deeper in the story. But come on, man. I'm just spamming jab. She can't get started. That's it. Boom, boom, boom. Just jab her out. Literally, I couldn't do anything with Lily right there except jab. Wing Chun. <laughs> yes. We've taken it back to the 70s, bro. This guy is a veteran. He's a veteran from the old school black exploitation kung fu days. I'm appreciating how much faster Jin is than some of the other characters, honestly. Lily has a lot of wind up time on her attacks. Oh, oh, come on. You got to be able to react to that. A <laughs> master of Wing Chun. <laughs> Grandmaster right there. Bitch. Ah. That was smart fighting. Footsies. It still exists in some fighting games. It's still there. The winning country of the tournament receives compensation. And then everyone else gets destruction. Oh, God. When did this guy suddenly become my psychiatrist? Very zen. Of course, the Wing Chun guy will become my sensei. You'll never be in danger. Wisdom. Back on the past is the job of old men. This guy speaks in fortune cookies. And look to the future. That's literally three non sequiturs, my man. How many do you got locked and loaded in the chamber? <laughs> he 
Wow, really? They're just going to interrupt the tournament? But all according to plan. Oh, that's right. Because she's got the, uh... She's got Azazel. If he can unite the powers of Devil and Azazel in one, he'll become the ultimate demonic lord. Wow, a character that existed to die. Isn't that great? Whoa. Horong's frame is crazy, though. He's got Street Fighter proportions. Everyone else looks uh, pretty normal. Horong just, he's visiting from a different franchise right now. A resident monster of the game, Azazel. Now, I think the tournament's over at this point. King Iron Fist tournament is all a presumption for this. Fight. <laughs> okay. That escalated quickly. Last match is just Jin versus a Wing Chun person now. Oh my god. He's so big I can just juggle him like nothing. No, he blocked the special, the Mishima signature. I gotta go for his legs though. He has like absolutely no leg defense. He's just rolling like a freaking Elden Ring boss at this point. Azazel's fighting style doesn't even make sense. Counter laser, man. I mean, that was kind of cool. Azazel actually felt big right there. No, he's turned it up. He's unlocked his secret arts. Whoa. Yeah, he definitely changed up his moveset a bit. What the? F I did not expect that. Okay. Holy snap, it still did so much damage despite everything. There you go, baby. That counter laser again. It's like the perfect counter to getting juggled right there by this big guy. They're <laughs> going Mario on Bowser right here. So long, Gezezo. <laughs> he said all that with a roar. Inconceivable. A mere servant like you couldn't possibly. The ultimate power ever seen in this game. Devil Azazel Kazuya? What do we even call this right here? At this most dramatic and important of times, it's very important that we take a journey to our childhood home and find our roots. Because the power of friendship defeats all in every single anime, including Tekken. This is a very Dragon Ball Z moment. Just leave all the, you know, second tier, third tier characters to fight Cell while we go into the hyperbolic time chamber for a second. And he just knows magic, completely unrelated to any other thing we've ever seen in this game. Okay. Uh, there's no reason to question it. There are so many other fighting games, but Tekken may in fact be the most ridiculous when you consider all the variables. Ah, so we actually do get to use Reyna in the story. Oh my god. I guess it makes sense because she's so uh, similar to Hihachi, right? Is that the Mashima style? He's like, uh-uh, I'm not mad at all. Totally not mad that you're using my dad's style. Yes, she did have the little stun lock. Okay, I can see why she's uh, like a crowd pleaser already. She feels like a much more acrobatic Kaihachi. And I know she's got some command grabs going for her, but I don't know shit about her playstyle. I honestly haven't used her at all. He waited. He waited for me to try to counterattack there, dude. This story mode is made all the more difficult that the PC gets harder as you're switching characters. So it's not like you just play Jin through the whole damn time. You're having to learn a character on the fly while fighting fucking True Devil Kazuya. I'm going to play a character for the first time that I've ever interacted with them. 
Luckily, she's Hihachi-like. So there's some things you can rely on. Ah, whew. Kept him against the wall. Worked out. <laughs> oh, God. He's turned into JP from Street Fighter. What is this? Purple lasers everywhere. God, what is it with this game where I'm losing in the cutscenes constantly? Fighting so hard, and it means nothing. Oh my god. He was doing the ritual the whole time. He was just riding the sigil. Is he a Quincy right now? Is he just pulling bleach out of his ass? I'm about it. Now we got Quincy's in this game. He really should have studied harder, though. Damn, another person who showed up just to die. I feel like this character and Safina were pretty damn important to Tekken 7's story, which I have not played yet. So these are probably pretty tragic deaths if uh, you were jamming that game for the past decade. Oh my god, he curved the arrow. He's just like Batman. Oh no, barely damaged his shoulder. <laughs> He's leaking! No, Senpai! And it's ended in a stalemate. Somehow, Jin now has time to go home and learn his origins. These cutscenes are honestly gorgeous, though. I really gotta give it up to the Tekken team. This game looks fantastic. Fantastic. Me? I never had a dream. Jesus, Xiaoyu, do you not understand? This family has been trying to kill each other since they were born. Every time a new son comes, they throw him off a cliff for being disloyal. You must fight in the first spot you ever fought. That's the only way to unlock your true potential. It makes sense. Everyone go back to your elementary schools and start a fist fight. Don't actually do that. Unless you want to achieve ultimate power, then definitely do that. See, all you got to do is jab her up like this. <laughs> what is it about... His jab being so powerful. You can fool him for a little bit with that jab. Oh, no! Nope, I was still reeling. Still reeling. What a crush. Okay, good. That was a cutscene. There was no way to avoid that. Because, truthfully, I have been breezing through on my ingrained Tekken fundamentals. Which, I guess, shows you the, like, true power of fighting game fundamentals. I know to mix it up high-low, I know to stay on the block, I know to observe the 3D nature of Tekken, and I know how to juggle. And those four things get me around most of the other shit that I don't know about this game in particular. At least here in the story. I think what I really need to focus on learning, which is a matter of time, it's a matter of experience, it's what's plus and what's minus. What puts me at disadvantage if I miss it? He's punching with his heart now. He's punching his girlfriend with his heart. And that's why she still loves him. There's an ogre on this island. Did she really sing that as a lullaby? He only just remembers this lullaby right now. Banish it with resplendent light? Very expensive word for a children's lullaby. You know, I get a feeling before this story's over, we're gonna get a taste of all the characters around this uh, table. It seems like the story is purposely designed to give you like a spread of character choices. Or rather, it's meant to give you an, a bit of experience with all the most important characters on the roster. See, and now we're fighting Jack as Zhao Yu. I didn't think we'd be using Zhao Yu at all. I thought she was just gonna be supporting cast. She's honestly got a pretty cool fighting style. Not really the kind I prefer, but she is a quick little character. And I do appreciate, especially in Tekken, how every character seems to have stances. And she has pretty beneficial stances. Like, her stances redirect you from mids to lows and shit. Like, it's not really a power stance. It's a elevation stance. I must learn the holy style of my ancestors. Aw, oh, this is trippy. I didn't, expect, I didn't expect Tekken to become this psychedelic. All the buddies are here. Look at that. King, Steve Fox. It's like when the Avengers met Guardians of the Galaxy. And everyone gets motorcycles. We're riding street bikes 
through all terrain areas. Is it really smart to just be having like our soldiers standing in formation in the middle of a field? When we know that our enemy has destructive lasers that he fires from his face. Should we really be grouping everyone together like this? Alright everyone, let's run forward through a field with guns. No airdrops. Airdrops don't exist in this world. Now we have some action game shit going on. Multi-person battle against hordes of opponents. But I don't, like, run actual speed. I'm still moving like I'm freaking... I, I'm still moving like I'm in the regular game, like in the fighting game portion. It doesn't make sense. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> it was literally just beat up the mob, bro. This is pre-footage of Dune 2 right here. So what Dunk 2 is going to look like. The new Violet suits. This is the Iron Man. Like I said, Guardians of the Galaxy, Avengers team up. I guess apparently Violet is their Iron Man. His fighting style really doesn't fit this like mob battle at all. He's very stop and start. Just do some neck breakers, neck breakers. They can't stop neck breakers. And apparently they hit each other when I do it. It's the ultimate move. He just constantly returns to neutral, which, when you're getting attacked from all sides, is kind of bad. And I honestly don't know if Raven is going to be any better. Oh my god, that throw is actually busted. Just so much chaos. If I come into contact with anybody's body, they just go flying. This literally just clears the mobs away from me. <laughs> it's just so free, bro. I, like, I clear the people behind me and in front of me when I do this. There's literally no reason to do anything else. And here comes the kid. Oh, but the kid's gonna get an actual fight? The fucking coffee swiller is evil. Are you kidding me? Better brand optics. It's just that simple. She's a sellout, guys. She's literally fighting for a country, and I've never even played Leo before. Come on, baby. We need to find something to rely on here. Oh god, what is it about the first round of these fights you just get your ass beat because constantly switching characters in this story. Whew! God damn, the footsies there got really intense. Block for block. In the middle of all this death and destruction, they're having a moment. Can true love be birthed on the battlefield? She'll just ship it to Germany in general. She'll ship your co your coffee to the country, and then hopefully you get it. There's no way, brothers against brothers. No one's won the tournament, Marshall. What, the tournament stopped. Oh my God, this is like Mortal Kombat. This is like the most recent Mortal Kombat. There never was a Mortal Kombat. There never was a Tekken tournament. It's Inception, my friend. This is how the game compromises with, like, not having enough... Oh my god, what the fuck? Now they're just ganging up on me. This is how the game is compromising with not having, like, a fight for every character. They're at least putting you in the mob battle, so you can kind of mess around with them, I guess. We're just gonna go full Brock Lesnar here, just suplex machine. Endless suplexes. Just keep them moving. All the way to Suplex City. <laughs> he just splats on my head. I'm mid-animation so that Jack can't even get it done. Got him in the rolling Germans. <laughs> okay. Nice, dude. Let's go. Damn. Thank God I got the chain grab. I would not have survived that. What are you talking about with these mob battles? <clears throat> this story's longer than I thought it would be. I'll be real. But here we are. Everyone has to have their moment to shine. Their own little bit of the script. Even in the last moment. Who the fuck is this guy again? I totally forget his name. He hasn't even been in the game up to this point. He hasn't even... This is his first time appearing. Not even a cameo. Fang has always been evil though. I'm pretty sure he's like classic kill the master guy. Like, this guy wants to become Dragon God. I don't even know what the f... What, what, do you, what do you even mean by that, brother? You haven't even been in the story before. I don't even know my character motiva motivations as Leroy, bro. All I know is I'm getting my ass beat. I don't understand. 
I literally don't understand what I'm doing with this character. This character is like so unique and execution based and I just don't understand him. Oh no, he's got me. And then he just starts bouncing, right? Yes, a throw! Saved my life. It's just so odd the way this game is structured. I keep getting that feeling of like, I'm just barely making it through here. The best way to describe the story right now is like, if we were playing arcade mode on random, but it was random every single round. Not bad though, at least we have some experience with Reyna. Stop moving. Seriously, stop moving around. Jesus Christ, woman. There you go. God. As they get better at the counter punching, you just got to be more about the long range footsies, man. At this point, I'm starting to learn how the computer shifts through the, ra through the round. So I'm like, I'm fighting the computer now more than I'm fighting the characters. I'm not sure what Nina Williams was even doing here, and now she's gone. Whatever she sought to accomplish, she did. Oh yeah, robot versus robot action. Rock 'em, suck 'em, baby. Even if I don't know what the hell she does, she's quick enough. Oh. Oh. Oh, what the? Yes. Baited you for the grab, son. Easy. Easy. He's just big and slow. <laughs> the flex is the ultimate jack, I guess. The newest model. It's the power of friendship and rivalry and Sundere. The robot needed saving. Isn't that crazy? The android designed to fight needed saving by regular humans. That's the superiority of their kung fu. Oh, well. I'm glad he finally decided to take notice of this giant fist fight in the middle of the wasteland. It's kind of blow. This is exactly what I knew would happen, bro. Just lasers everybody. That's it. We're just having a nice little Sunday brawl, and here he comes to ruin the fun. Yeah, I honestly didn't know what we were trying to accomplish there by having so much cannon fodder on the field. And he wasn't even there the whole time either, so it's like, what were we fighting about in the middle of this field either? I'm not sure. Ah, the plot armor is thick with this one. Just unlocked her devil power too. Everyone gets devil powers now. She's been fighting these baby jacks the whole time, wow. And Lars came all the way here from the wasteland battle. To come tell Jin that, hey, it's time. You need to stop messing around, bro. Time to unlock your potential. Kazuya literally couldn't wait anymore. Jin spent so long napping that Kazuya just came to take him out in his sleep. Fight. This is ridiculous, bro. This is honestly ridiculous. God, we made it to the cutscene. Jesus. You gotta win to lose. It's a it's an odd feeling with these fights. You're winning so that you lose in the cutscene. You know how I won there? I just spammed. I didn't use fundamentals. I didn't even I was just going back forth, back forth with kicks, just mixing up kicks. This story mode is all over the place, and it's entirely because the characters are so fucking random. It changes from fight to fight. That's the most annoying thing in video games, and it's all that's happening in this story. Oh my god, no, he survived. He has blood armor! He calls upon the power of his ancestors. His father, really. Just Ayachi. That's odd that it's framing him as a good person. Just because it's overlaying him with Lars, it's all like, Ayachi, the hero? No. No, Ihachi's also a terrible person. And now finally we're on the spirit journey with Jin. The thing about this story though is it's given me an appreciation, honestly. Like, Jin is pretty straightforward compared to everyone else in the game. This part is straight up the Star Wars spirit journey. He's talking to his evil form. Though I guess it's obvious, like he doesn't have a mask on, right? It's just Jin and Devil Jin. Must defeat my evil self. Jesus Christ. My evil self is pretty badass. Okay, he just kind of cancels that flying. That's baller. Easy. Special save my ass right there, truthfully.
What? He just... For free. Damn. No one's ever actually charged through that shit before. What are these moves where they just get it for free? What? It, what is that? He's just standing there. Wow. His power set is stupid, and that is definitely by design. He is designed to be dumb and fight counter to every way you've learned to fight in this game. The deeper we get into this story, the more I'm having to just abuse the broken shit. I literally won just by stun kick right there. I must unite the angel and the devil. Oh, now I'm the devil and I must defeat my own self. The philosophical implications. I just gotta keep doing the broken ass command grabs, bro. Oh my god, dude, he just heals. That's so annoying. Who thought of that? There we go. He thought I was doing one thing, I was doing the other thing. What? You gotta be... What? What is he doing now? I don't understand what's happening here. I guess I just gotta... Yeah, okay. These boss battles are more boss battle than I've ever had in a fighting game. There's like different mechanics, man, like armor moves, stun locking, regenerating health. Tekken 8 story mode is one of the craziest fighting game story modes I've ever played, honestly. So the devil, oh my god, he's got one wing of each. He's united the powers. It took Jin a long time, but now he's, it looks like he's finally okay with killing half the world. And now the final battle must commence father versus son for about what, the fifth time? But maybe the final time? Because he was just letting him have this rather touching moment. That's very nice of him. Very kind. You know, he hates his son, but he's not trying to cock block him or anything. And now this game's turned into Bodokai Tenkaichi. We're just going to be fighting in 3D in the air now. Energy blasts. World destruction. Look at this. The underground dojo. Yes! With the little special move. That is honestly such an easy auto combo. What? It's like he missed it. He honestly missed the cutscene attack. Wow. And then Kazuya just no sells it. Yo, power is impressive. But that ass beating did nothing to my morale. Can't you tell I've lighted the powers of. I've united the powers of force and. I can't even speak, bro. Now my laser is stronger. They just had to whip out their metaphorical dicks for a second. That's doing so much less damage than it was before. He must have gotten denser. He's up to his defense, baby. Yes, there we go, baby. Rush down. Let me just whip out my ultimate attack real quick. We're just straight up Dragon Ball Z at this point, aren't we? Oh, and my mother lends me her energy. I'm glad we have time for these euphoric moments. In the middle of this life or death struggle with a fucking evil spirit bomb. And just like that, Jin finally learned to love himself. Oh my god. He's unlocked his ultimate form. Honestly, that's pretty badass. But everyone is just achieving levels beyond. He's gone true ogre devil angel Jin. Tekken has definitely changed. That is for sure. The power levels in this game are freaking crazy now. Oh, is that just an after a shock? <laughs> we, oh, I don't know if this is like the cheesiest or most badass thing in this entire game. But I guess that energy blast propelled us into space. And so our final arena shall be a molten piece of rock in orbit. Angel versus Devil. You couldn't book a WrestleMania this more hype. Well, you've got me at a bit of disadvantage. I don't know what the hell my moveset is. But it should be pretty powerful, right? Because I'm in ultimate form. Oh my god. Uh, that's just auto combo. Fuck it. I'm just going auto combo, baby. Two, two, 
Oh god, he gets those for free, man. Those lasers, he can literally hit them like as a counter. It's wild. There you go. Little sidestep action. That skill, that precision on that quick time event. Not many gamers could pull that off as fast as I did. Thank God for that auto combo, man. That auto combo cheese is saving my ass right now. He starts with whatever that busted shit is right off the bat. Are you kidding me? Oh, you're you're a real McAsshole, aren't you? What are you talking about? He's already, it's like I'm trying to fight back, but he's, oh god, unless I can keep cheesing him, he's pretty much already won this, because that, that fucking thing he did right in the beginning of the match. Yep. Like, what? He starts with a move that does 75% HP. That's fucking wild. All I can do is, oh, I can block it and take 30% instead. Wow, isn't that fun? I love that I really have no choice but to take damage there. Where is he going? How is he avoiding my attacks, bro? Come on. I think I need to trip him up, and maybe I can actually fit it into, like, a juggle here. Really? Sick moves, bro. This fight is honestly nonsense. Like, I'm having a hard time keeping track of it. I'm just trying to keep the pressure up on him. We're both flying around the screen so much. It's honestly kind of wild. And here we go. I'm so glad that after all that, I get to take 25% of my HP in damage. Again. For no... With no block. No ability to block. Nice. <laughs> oh, when in doubt, just jab it out, bro. Do an odd jab sequence. They won't even know how to block it. Okay, this definitely wasn't the hardest Tekken boss fight in Tekken history. And I think that's just because we had busted angel powers as well. Like Jin Pachi from Tekken 5 was more difficult for sure. God, we have just gone full-blown Neon Genesis now at this point. We've taken imagery from Dragon Ball. We've taken Neon Genesis. We've taken Bleach. This game is wearing all of its inspirations on its sleeve. And now we have to fight a falling island, fist to fist. Stripped of all power. Right back where we started at the beginning of the game. That circular storytelling, honestly. Ooh, the sidestep, man. Get my ass beat here. Ah, his switch-ups. Kazuya is all about those mix-ups, dude. I've been fighting so many stupid characters that dive and use energy blasts and have counters. And I'm just doing a regular fight. It's a different pace. It's the different pace than all the other shit you're doing in this story mode. Got you in the corner. Oh, he actually got tougher now. Like, he's just taking less damage. Oh, God, I had to scratch my eye, you bastard. That might have just cost me this fight. No. Ha. Back to the footsies. Just had to reset my brain to Tekken again. The back half of this story mode does not feel like Tekken. It feels much more like an anime fighter. Not gonna be ignored, dad. Oh. <laughs> I love that I get to lose the fucking cutscene. Again, this whole game, I've been losing the cutscene. I understand it's about Jin's personal journey, but it, goddamn, there's some storytelling dissonance when you constantly win fights and then get your ass beat immediately after. Instant concussion. 
<laughs> you little shit. He saved it for the end of the game. Nope. Jab. Jab chained. <laughs> oh, that's always the most comical way to beat him. God damn it. Kazuya's that one kid. He's all like, no, best to three. No, best to five. No, best to seven. Kazuya just can't take losing. Wow, I think I think if I just block, I just straight up twist him. Yep. It's just certain attacks. What? <laughs> I've just accepted at this point. We're vacillating. I, I win, but I lose. And then he loses, but he still wins. It's the ultimate battle. I'm interacting with an anime. That's the best way to say this. That's what this final fight is. Every now and then I get to interject. Press A to not deny your past. Yes. No longer will I deny my past. Don't deny your comrades. Press A, ladies and gentlemen. Remember all the hot robot waifus that believed in us. That perfect high-low, man? It's like he just knows where I'm wanting to go with these combos sometimes. <laughs> hit me with how many how many wave dashes are you gonna hit me with kazuya that was the funniest shit i've seen this entire time i've been playing there's no way <laughs> he's just he's just doing shit i've never seen him do before oh it's like i can bait him with that kick but then he keeps doing that it's like i get him to certain thresholds yep it's working. I can bait him, and then, yeah, I can bait him right there. Now I'm just learning how his PC works more than anything. Oh my god. No. My god, bro, what are you what are you talking about? It's so fucking crazy. It's so crazy. The execution requirement here. By the way, I'm playing on normal. Yep. Oh no, I fucked up. I tried to do anything but the broken kicks. If I did anything but the broken kicks right there, I was losing. Literally just kick loop. <laughs> kick loop and then back up and he just goes into the auto throw. It's like level 12 difficulty and then if you do the correct thing, it's so fucking easy. How many again? I feel like I'm caught in an endless fucking loop where he just increases in power. What? I'm like, I'm in a, I'm, I can't escape the fight with my dad. He keeps powering up. He keeps achieving some unforeseen level of CPU bullshit. Somehow he keeps ascending to the next... What the fuck? I'm literally what the fuck mode now. You cannot possibly expect a casual to beat this. I'm tripping, dude. I'm honestly tripping. This is... This is wild. What? There we go. Jesus, bro. I had to fight him once for every Tekken game that's ever been released. That's what that was. I'm also surprised by how much of the promotional material was taken from here at the very end of the game. Like pretty much the entire first trailer and all the posters were taken from that moment. With a simple punch to the face. None of those spin kicks and laser beams and meteors and waterfalls. The question is, do we just let Kazuya survive? Like we did all this. Now what do we do with him? With that, the devil's blood is gone.
but not gone forever, right? You know, in terms of storytelling, this honestly is like a very clean circle back to Tekken 1. At least for the Mishima family, I forget what June's name is. But at least for like the main story, the main clans, it really does kind of bring it to a conclusion here. Though, I mean, Ihachi's probably going to show up. Like, they build this game as Ihachi Mishima is dead. He's probably going to show up right now. No mustache, though. He looks like a little Chinese girl, but that's definitely Ihachi. Because like you said, Donor, you're destined to fight your parents, but you never kill your parents. That would be a step too far. It doesn't matter how evil your parents is. It doesn't matter if they're possessed with the spirit of Satan himself. You just gotta leave them lying on the beach. Defeated in a fist fight. You can't actually take them out. Well, there you go. We actually got through the Tekken 8 story. I thought it would be shorter. And I thought it'd be a little bit less difficult. But goddamn, we managed to make it through. All the broken, busted bullshit. It's fun. I can definitely say this game is fun. Mechanically, it feels very great. Uh, I think it's going to be a bit of a grower, though. Because, honestly, Pal World came out a week ago, and it's stolen every fucking game's thunder. No one even cares about the Fortnite update. No one cares about Tekken. Everyone cares about Pal World right now. But, personally, I'm going to keep playing Tekken. The woman who would be king. Come on, she's totally evil. On my life, I swear. I'll avenge you, Haihachi. <gasps> the big reveal! I I knew it. I knew it, though. She was too ready to help Jin. She was all fucking K-pop anime. It was too simple. So, damn, yeah, I guess you guys having seen the penultimate moment. How do you guys feel about this game? You guys, you want to hear a fucking crazy story? I only was able to find one Xbox copy of this game in my town. Because I'm the weird bastard still buying physical games. It's crazy. I had to drive from one GameStop to another just to get this game. That was crazy. Uh, Sunday, just so you guys know, because a lot of you, I don't see you too often in the stream. Sunday is a community day. If you want to stop by for Sunday's stream, I'll have open lobbies on Fortnite. And I'll be playing Tekken 2 if you guys want to, you know, maybe get your ass beat here live on stream.